Okay, in this tutorial, uh, we're going to take a look at managing comments. So under content, we go to comments. We can see all the comments that exist on the website currently. This is the approved comments that already that have already been uh, posted on the website. You can see who is posted by. This is the IP address of the individual that's posting it. This will be important information as you move forward because if spam bots uh, start to get a hold of your site or uh, spammers, like actual human spammers, uh, you'll start to notice that they create multiple accounts, but they come from the same IP address. Not always, but sometimes. And then you can start to identify individuals that are spamming your site. Um, you can see that the information on where uh, the title that was posted, where it was posted in, the content that it was posted in, and you can see the body field. And you can see the posted and the updated information. And you can view edit, delete, and hit reply. You can also go to the page and actually see the page where it's been posted to and see the comment in context of everything else. You can see there are all the comments there. And you can actually manage the comments directly on the page itself too. So heading back in here, much like managing your content, you also have the ability to do some advanced searching, searching by username, by email, IP address, which, you know, again, handy when you're looking for bots or spammers. Um, when it was posted and updated and titled. And you can filter that and you can also manage in bulk, you can delete and publish and send emails to the comment author. There's a whole video tutorial on sending emails um, and publishing comments and publishing comments. And from within here, you also have the approval queue. So let's go into the unapproved comments. Anytime someone's posted a comment to the website, you'll receive an email as a, an editor of the website That'll tell you a new comment's been posted. It'll give you some information about that comment and then some links to manage that comment. And as you can see, there's no comments that are need approving, but the setup is exactly the same as the, the published comments. And you can have an advanced search and that sort of thing. And when you feel that a comment needs to be approved or deleted, you can um, handle it in here. So much in the same way as this side, managing the comments. Now we try to keep control of the comments through a honeypot protection, which uh, if a spam bot gets a hold of a, a website, they tend to submit a large amounts of comments within the site in a very short period of time. Honeypot, uh, there's two methods that it keeps it from doing that. It puts in a field that information gets added into it. It's a hidden field. And if information gets added to it, it's rejected automatically, and which most bots will do. They'll fill out as many fields as possible, or they'll do it rapidly. Um, and so it tends to, once the page finishes loading, it, it, it requires at least 10 seconds in between posting your comment and that page loading, otherwise it won't accept it. Um, but that being said, uh, there's no 100% foolproof way of avoiding spam. If you have a website that allows comments, spam will happen. Uh, the best thing to do is to delete the spam as it comes in and then manage the user account that's been created to be able to put, post that spam. But that's covered in another video tutorial on managing people. Thank you very much for watching.